Hi, Serious Roos here, back with another answer matter mentions new game plus 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 video, episode 188, and you can see we're really close to 100, E100 quadrillion answer matter. And there's some things I can do to actually get closer to there. First, there's an electron upgrade. And then I can grind neutrinos. So this is gonna it's gonna be huge because I can go all the way up to E1340 of each neutrino. This should allow me to get all the way to E100 quadrillion nanometer. The combination of the electron upgrade and all those neutrinos, hopefully, and just the quantums. So E96 quadrillion, E97 quadrillion. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna make it here, but that's okay. I could try to eternity, but I can go to big grip instead, and that that'll also be good. So you can see I'm now limited by this limit amount, five quadrillion ghostly rays. But all that photon stuff will allow me to get more like nanofield rewards. First, E60, not E60, if E56.6 billion in big rip, this should allow me to get more rewards, like possibly 94, that's, that's what I'm trying to get. And it'll allow me to get more cork spin. Not enough to get the next radioactive decay, but it'll still give me a decent amount, like, like maybe E194 or something like that. I may not try to get this 94th reward. It's still it's just a little bit far away, but at, at least just I can get one more reward and like more like more tree decay stuff. So like I feel like that could push me over the edge. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna exit the big rip here and see if I can get E100 quadrillion answer. I should be able to get there. Let's see, 92, 94, 95, 96. 97, uh, again, sort of stopping at E97 quadrillion and it's bad. It doesn't look like we can get much more than that. Maybe what I can do, just maybe, also I forgot to dilate time. I probably could have done that for some tachyon particles, but whatever. I don't think it would even would have been that many tachyon particles. I'm going to try to eternity. Maybe just eternity will somehow, like, because of, like, the retroactive thing, will allow me to break E100 quadrillion and matter. It's definitely allowing me to get higher, but not quite E100 quadrillion. It gets me up to E98 quadrillion, but just not E100 quadrillion. It's just gonna, I think it's just going to take a while for me to get to E100 quadrillion. I think I just need to wait. So, uh, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later, and yes, E100 quadrillion antimatter. This is the last order of order of magnitude. I'm going to get in, in this, at least as of the current update. Maybe if more content's added, I can get to E1 quintillion, but no, not not yet. So, yeah, this is the, the final moment there. But anyway, going to Bolsonic Lab, let's see if I can do anything here. Um, 375 trillion Z bosons. Like, I feel like that's significantly quicker than before. This. I'm not sure if that's two times or 20 times quicker. I mean, maybe if I had KW Quark... I think it's only two times quicker than before, which is sad, but whatever. You know, at least, like, at least I have that. And also, 4.85 trillion balsonic antimatter. It's a, it's a decent bit. I mean, it isn't all that much. And I have eight quadrillion ghostly rays. I need 17 ultraviolet light for the next light empowerment. And the next, I only have 15 ultraviolet light, so it looks like I'm going to need, like, 40 quadrillion ghostly rays to get the next light empowerment. So, yeah, unfortunately... This scheme is still slow. I'm gonna yeah, disable this and enable that, and hopefully that will speed up the game slightly. It's not gonna really speed up the game at all, but whatever. It, right, right now, it's just so slow. Maybe I can just do this for a little bit, and it should allow me to get more W and Z bosons. I mean, it's not gonna even be that much. I mean, I am starting to get a lot of bosonic battery at this point so I, I, at least there's that it's like like it's not a lot much i mean actually no it, it is quite a bit of bosonic battery it's actually enough that i can maintain positive gain going at almost two times actually over two times speed so yeah this is actually starting to be, become like significant so I, at least at least there's that like i feel like what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna decay the w cork here and go into big rip i'll keep this at two times 
And Big Rip, I don't think it's going to be all that different. Maybe I can grab one more Nano Feel reward. Or, or just get a little bit more in Tree of Decay. It doesn't look like I'm really going to get all that much here. And yeah, Nano Field, not any faster. So, I don't know how I'm supposed to get 100, 104 rewards to open up the anti Prion Ghost Slayer. So, yeah, or... Maybe I'm not even supposed to get 104 rewards. I, I don't know. I, I thought that that I would easily be able to get 104 rewards and then it would be almost impossible after the anti prion ghost like was like a thing. So, okay. It doesn't look like I can really do much here. So, I think honestly what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to wait. And also, um, I'm going to turn the Bosonic Overdrive just to one times. And, yeah. See in a bit. Okay, I'm back like a couple of days later, and I have enough Bosonic Antimatter and enough Infinity Bosonic Runes and all that to get the next upgrade here. It's a signing gives more colored quarks based on your meta antimatter. So I, th I think all it is is just more quarks. So, or at least more color power. So, yeah, this should help things a lot. Maybe I need to quantum first. I'm up to 18,000 quarks, so at least. Yeah, that's definitely doing something. Maybe if I just quantum once, that could, like, make it more, you know, retroactive. Yeah, I'm getting a ton more quarks than I did before, and a ton more antimatter as well. So, that's going to really help. But then also, I'm just going to... Uh, what's interesting is that I've grinded a lot of W plus bosons, and I still haven't gotten rid of the double, um, all the W minus bosons, but I've gotten rid of a, a lot of them, and getting more levels of this will help make that process faster. Like I'm getting about 1,000 levels of these per second. So, and then I can also grind neutrinos. This is gonna be overpowered because I don't know how many neutrinos I had, but now I'm gonna be able to get a total of E1348 neutrinos. I feel like I, I don't know why it's only E1348. I, 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 I like all the others are E1343, so that's, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it's not as powerful. Yeah, I think it's just a boost of color power, which, yeah, that, that, that at least helps a little bit. And if I check photons, uh, no, I'm nowhere close to the next light empowerment. I still need two more ultraviolet lights. And, yeah, it looks like I'm just going to grind more of this. Like, I do have a lot of bosonic battery, but, like, it's only realistic to try to get this up to, like, a 1.8 times speed. Bosonic Labs currently, I do have 4.32 Bosonic Watts, so, like, that does help things, but it's it's still slow. Let's see where the next upgrade is. It's, it's a quadrillion Bosonic Antimatter. I actually have enough Infinity Bosonic Runes for this. Um, you it's you produce Space Shards without having a big grip. That, 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 that seems pretty overpowered, but Break Eternity upgrades are nerfed. That may not be the best upgrade, but... Maybe if I get enough space shards. Like, I feel like that could make Tree of Decay a lot better outside of Big Rip. So, I'm just going to get more levels of these and wait for all of the W- bosons to go away. And then I can actually... Actually, it's not even converting. That, that's what it is. I need to convert the W+, plus to W-. Or, yeah, W- minus W+, plus, not the other way around. And then I can start oscillating the neutrinos after that because I'll have like a much faster like yeah faster oscillate progression gain so yeah hope you okay I'm back like another day later and I have E1 12.6 quadrillion antimatter and almost 20 quadrillion ghostly rays not enough for the next light empowerment but that's okay I now have no W minus bosons so that means I'm gonna get a really fast extracting time here and it looks like I'll be able to... I'm, I'm nowhere close to the next Bosonic upgrade, so I shouldn't even focus on that. I think I should just get as many levels of this as I can. This will definitely... I'm up 66.66 million. Yay. So, that'll help that a little bit. And then, it doesn't look like I can, I can level this upgrade at all, just because I need the Eternity Bosonic runes for it. Even though, I can actually level it up very quickly. So, I feel like I should just try to get... Eternity Bosonic Runes to just level this up slightly. I mean, yeah, more, more than slightly. I, I have no idea how much I should level this before I oscillate because thing is, when I oscillate, you know, 
Like, actually, I, I can just oscillate now, and it's it won't be that fast until I actually, like, make this upgrade, you know, do something. Except, if I do want to make it, you know, do something, I need to not have, not be auto-generating the runes here. So, I, I feel like I, it's probably not the most efficient decision to do this, but I feel like I, I just want to just get some levels here, and then, um, I, I, I'm thinking what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wait a bit, and then... And, and then I will, like, I'll, I'll wait a few levels, or, yeah, not not just a few levels, like, like, half an hour or something, so I can get a bunch of levels of this. Like, that should be able to, like, quadruple level of this, which will make this twice as fast. And then what I can do after that is I can use this enchant to actually help oscill help boost the oscillate speed so I can get more Z bosons. So, yeah, see another bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later, and you can see Bosonic Lab, I I forgot to do this, like, yesterday, so I'm doing it today, like, you know, like, having the third upgrade here enabled, so that means I, why, that's why I have 3 billion Eternity Bosonic Runes, which means I could, I can probably upgrade this to Oblivion, which I, I did forget to do, so, yeah, that's, does, that does probably nothing, or not nothing, but, you know, I'm now up to almost 20 quadrillion Z bosons, which I, th I think that's pretty good. It's giving me quite a bit faster decay speed of W quark and faster conversion of speed of W minus W plus. And I'm actually getting like with this like recent speed boost, I'm actually get, I'm, looks like I'm going to get even more. So there's really not much else I can do here. I'm at w about 120 trillion bosonic antimatter, not much else here to do. There's there is photons, but I'm not I'm not really at the next lane empowerment. I could, if I wanted to, just go into Big Rip to see if I can get anything. Because, like, I'm up to E60 billion in Big Rip. And it looks like I'm getting a lot of eternal matter. And I've been forgetting to dilate recently. So, yeah. E386 tachyon particles. I probably could push Tree of Decay. I don't think I'm going to get the next radioactive decay, but it's still going to give me something. And going to Nano Field, I should be able to get more rewards. Like... 94 here so yay another reward and it looks like i'm going to be able to get a lot of ghostifies next time i ghostify i'm not really sure when i'm gonna ghostify next but it'll be some time oh no i, I know when it's gonna be what, what am i even saying it's the, the next lamp it's gonna be the next light empowerment duh also i have a nice amount of eternity balsonic ruins here nice also, I've noticed I have 8 E523 prions, which is a lot. That's way over infinity. Well, yeah, that's weird to say, but yeah, that, that's what it is. And I have E198 quark spin. I think I just got this 25th level here, which I, which means I may be able to get even more tachyon particles. Yeah, E392. So that's yeah, that's 8 orders of magnitude of tachyon particles. So yeah, that, that was definitely a good idea to go into Big Rip. It'll, at least help with like photons. It'll just give me more dark matter. I went to E33 dark matter. And there's really not much else I'm, I can do here. I think what I'm just going to do, I'm going to wait it, wait this out. And then I'll again just start grinding the W plus and W minus bosons. There's not really much else to do. Because like the bosonic antimatter. It's, it's just I'm nowhere close to this next upgrade here. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.